everyone welcome back to the channel today is a very exciting day because today we're converting adobe xd designs into an actual working native app on your android or ios so without further ado let's just get started with this video so before we get started i have a telegram channel where we discuss designs or you can even talk to me face to face if you have any issues or problems as well i'll have the link in the description to join that channel so to get started i have this very basic application created with just text here and there just a few cards and uh, nothing great nothing very creative just something that i thought will be useful so once you have something like this set up maybe one or two artboards as well um you just need to go to the plugins panel here on the left just select plugins and you, you'll have this these plugins here and i want you to go to this plus button or this add button and i want you to search for a plugin which is called fire blade you might have heard of it it's great for exporting for web apps and fire blade will come up i want you to install it once you have it installed go back to the artboard so go to this trending, just click on the artboard here, go to the plugins, go down to where Fireblade is and click on Fireblade. We'll have a couple of options here, but we won't fiddle with anything here. Uh, what we'll do is go to the setup on the top, I'll click on setup and I've already set where I want this project to land up in. You can select something else. Uh, maybe for this one, what we'll do is I'll go to documents and that is where I will export it to, uh, which is fine. Um, under the formats, I want you to deselect everything else and go to React Native Basic. Uh, this is what we'll be setting up with. Now, this is a very basic export. This won't be like a, a very advanced export. So there might, might be some errors, but for now, that is, that is all you need to know. So I'll just go and click on Close, and that is about it. We have our settings saved, and we will click now on the Export button. As you can see, there are quite a few changes that it might do here, and it's just uh, exporting everything that it needs. Everything has been set up, which is set up pretty well. Now I will go to OK and just that's about it. That's all we needed to do. Now we can exit from XT. Now I have everything here, but we'll go to our uh, browser of choice, which is now Microsoft Edge. Thank you for noticing. So we will visit a site called codesandbox.io. Sign up for codesandbox.io. It is completely free. And once you've done, you've done signing up, uh, you will get an option like this right here on screen. Under Create Sandbox, you will go here and you'll get quite a few options with nothing selected. Uh, under Official Templates, you'll need to select this option, which is called React by Code Sandbox Team. I click on this and it will load up a completely new app, so as to say. And as you can see, app.js is here and that is what is selected. It is right now building the project, you know, getting everything ready. Once it does have everything ready, you will be ready to go. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is just delete everything from here in the app.js file. Have an empty app.js file. It'll, it will show you an error, but don't worry about it. Now I will go to my finder or my folders. I will quickly go to documents. Now under documents, I have this trending folder right here. I'll click on this trending folder and under this we have two files or one folder and one file assets will have this red rectangle background which we will be exporting later on but for now we will just we will just copy this trending.js file now uh, i will go to open with and under open with i will go to text edit.app you can do the same on windows if you just go to the notepad now there, there's a lot of code on this page so what we'll do is just select a little bit from the top like this and uh, just scroll down to the bottom without clicking anything else that's quite a bit of code if you, if it's a larger app it will have a lot of other code and i will just uh, click on this and basically uh, have all the code selected i'll basically select all the code while holding shift now i'll say command c to copy it or control c on windows of course and i'll paste it right here in app.js command v or control v go ahead and as you can see, you'll have all the code copied right here. Now it, it goes ahead and shows me any errors found in the documents, no issues. They have a solution right here. I'll click on this button and it will automatic, automatically solve whatever is needed for me. Now it says module not found error because we have not yet imported rectangle1.png, 
which is related to app.js. Uh, fine, that is that is perfectly fine. We'll go to our finder and under assets, you'll have this rectangle one.png. So now what we need to do is go ahead and click on this upload files button. It's a very small button, but just click on it and you'll get all these options here. So I want to go to documents and go to the top in the trending folder here, go to assets. And under this, we have the rectangle one.png. Just click on open. It will take a few seconds to upload it, depending on the size of the file, of course. We have still not put the rectangle in the right place. Uh, we need to put it under SRC right here. If I just drag it, I can place it under SRC. So we place it under SRC, which is fine. There's still an error. We will fix this right away. So if I go, if I click on Command F or Control F, it will basically search for uh, whatever I write here. So in this case, what I will do is uh, click on rectangle1.png. Just type in rectangle1.png. As you can see, it basically imports rectangle1 from here. So I'll click on this area. And rather than saying assets, what I will say is just uh, delete this dot at the beginning or the full stop and delete this uh, basically assets I will remove and replace it with SRC, um, which basically says it should be under this SRC, which is fine. So now, as you can see, uh, whatever edits we had done here are now reflecting onto this page. Of course, since this is for mobile, it will only show up in this much space. And as you can see, it looks pretty good to me, of course. Uh, now, this is more responsive than anything else. You can change all those settings back in Adobe XD. Uh, you can even export prototypes so it will remember uh, what, what prototypes you had done. So this is pretty cool, but it's still not ready for our web app, which I had showed you earlier. Um, we need to make some edits. Now, if I go to this uh, developers.google.com on this web manifest section, I have uh, create the manifest. So in this case, we will have to make a manifest.json. So no issues, we can do this right here in this. So in public, go to public folder and under public folder, you have this file looking. And as you can see, new file has popped up. I'll click on new file. And under new file, what I want to do is basically go ahead and say manifest, oh, manifest, manifest.json. That's about it, nothing else. Now under manifest.json, we will make a few edits. All we need to do is just copy uh, this, create the manifest. Uh, text from here. I will give the link in the description. Don't worry about it and command V. And on, inside this, uh, once we've pasted, as you can see, Google has just defined its own. I'll, in this case, I'll say Puneet. And maybe the full name I'll say is Puneet Chavla. Uh, in certain cases, it might display the full name. Icons, of course, we have none. So what we'll do is click on public again. And under public, I have this upload icon. Click on upload file. And I will go to, um, where did I put it? That's the issue. I always forget where I put it. Um, I think I put it under this QX Max. I don't know why I did that. So in, in public or, yeah, in public, I have this, this my own image, which is of course the channel icon as well. I'll open this and uh, basically it'll upload it right here. So instead of saying uh, images or anything, I'll just remove all this so that uh, you can basically search for it under the source. I'll del delete all this text and I'll re replace it with main.jpg. And the type also, I'll just change from image PNG to image JPEG. Uh, write the whole thing, of course. And under this as well, I'll just copy this main.jpg from the top to the second section right here. I'll just paste it and there we have it. Under this also, I'll change it from PNG to JPEG. That's about it. Now short URL, we uh, the start URL, we need nothing. So we will just remove all the text and I'll just leave this bracket or uh, this slash right here. And standalone, everything is fine. Uh, here also I'll change from maps and delete it just to this one slash. Now our manifest.json file is done and ready to go. One last thing we need to do is actually mention this file. So if I go back to this link that I have shared down below, um, there is this link rel manifest href manifest.json and just copy this right here and put it anywhere in the index.html file inside the head of course so inside the head tag we'll put it here remove this first slash and that's about it say command s and we have our entire file set up 
to deploy this there is this deployment button on the bottom on the left right here in the left center click on this uh, now i have two options you can go with anyone uh, in this case i'll go with netlify so under netlify i'll click on this deploy button uh, it's not big enough so you can't see it uh, click on deploy and it will take a few seconds to actually deploy this app onto a custom um, URL right here. So it will be the sandbox site. Wait for all this to load. It will turn blue. Once it does, you're ready to go. Uh, if you go to Chrome, uh, go to this add um, button, this add to home screen button. And once you have that, you'll get the option with your name and image, everything. Just say add and that's about it that is all you need to do and now you have like a proper web app if you open it up you won't see chrome or anything else it will just look like a proper real app that you're running on your phone this is great for if you want to show it to somebody running and well and running or if you want to create your own app uh, i will also give guides in the description to actually convert this into an apk file it's a slightly longer process so if you're ready to go through all that lengthy process then i will give the link in the description for sure i hope you liked today's video if you did go ahead and subscribe to the channel also click on the like button because that means a lot to me i'll see you every monday and thursday every single week without fail thank you for all the support god bless and i'll see you in the next one